It's time for bookkeeping, beer, and BS. Question number seven is a marketing question, but this one's gonna be this one's gonna be tricky here um, because it's personal. So, uh, and it's it's mostly for me to make a plug for this. So, if you don't already have this thing, you got to go out to my website and get it. So, uh, at Blue Skies, we make target budget sheets for every industry. If you don't know what a target budget sheet is, it's because nobody else fucking makes them. I make them. I know what the targets are. So for lawn care and landscaping, you can go get a target budget sheet. Literally, you put your sales targets in for each month, and it tells you how much to spend on every single item in your business. It builds your budget for you. You don't have to build a budget because everybody hates building budgets, so don't. Just go get the one I already built for you. Target budget sheet. Go get it on yourblueskies.com. There's one for like every industry um, if you're in the service space. So that said, this is a marketing question, but it's kind of a finance marketing question. In my target budget sheet for lawn care and landscaping companies, what is the target percentage of revenue that you should be spending on marketing throughout the year? And I'll make this one multiple choice for you. Is it 5%, 10%, 15% or 20%? Target budget sheet for lawn care and landscaping companies. What percent of your revenue should you be spending on marketing that I have built into this target budget sheet? And, I, and, and if you don't already have the target budget sheet, well, you it, like you got to go, you know, fill out the form and then you got to hit the button and then we send it to you type of thing. You won't have time to get it to answer this question, Darren. About why I'm saying that. You'd be surprised. Darren's probably already three quarters of the way through the form. <laughs> He's going fast. He's typing really fast into his phone there. You might just be ordering dinner. You never know. Hashtag, hashtag, go get your <laughs> budget sheet is what I'm saying. I was, I was rudely interrupted by uh, Kitty Cat. Everybody got a guess? I feel like the multiple choice, uh, I mean, obviously, definitely improves the scores quite a bit. But I feel like anything numerically. Me Me too. Hey, Angela, you're on the board. You got a one. It's all good. All right. What do you guys got? 5, 10, 15, 20. Who's got what? Sean says 10%. Darren says 15 Corey at 15, Hecubus at 10, Jai is at 15, Angela's at 15. Now, I, I'm i going to caveat this one. The correct answer is 5%. That's what is in your budget. Darren, I, I'm not giving you credit on the 15. So 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 who had who had five? Somebody had five. Somebody had five. Like anybody <laughs> did. No. Oh, well, story. Um, I had five and crossed it out. Is that because but, it's factoring in like the direct referral side of things for the lawn care industry? Yeah, yeah. You, know, you, just, you just made me feel really well, really good. By the way, thank you very much for saying that. So, so you've got um, not now. I'll caveat that by saying like marketing doesn't really have a target. It's more about your acquisition cost, right? If if you are marketing and it's converting, spend twenty percent on marketing, right? It's an investment over time. I'll say on average, I tend to see lawn care and landscaping companies between five and ten. Depends on how fast you want to grow. If you want to grow like gangbusters, ten, fifteen, twenty, go for it. Just make sure it's converting, right? As you get to more of a steady state growth phase where you've you've kind of like ran up that curve, it tends to be that most of your customers are repeat customers and recurring customers. Less of them are new customers, so it does start to shrink your marketing budget. So you're again, trying, trying to say that we all got the answer right. I'm saying that you're all right in your own sort of way. It's just not what's on the target budget sheet. And the que- the question was what's on the target budget sheet. So it starts at five percent. But and here's the beauty of the target budget sheet. <laughs> is it just gives you a general target. So that's for a landscaping and lawn care company to earn a 15% net profit margin. There's plenty of lawn care landscaping companies that earn a 5% net profit margin because they are marketing at 15%, which is good because they're growing their revenue so that when they do earn 15%, they earn it on a million bucks instead of a hundred thousand bucks, right? So marketing is more about that investment to get revenue in the future, not always to get revenue right now or profit right now. So it's not a bad thing if you're marketing more than that. Is that five percent of your gross your gross annual sales, or yes. are your 
your net profit. 5% of gross annual sales. And, okay. and I think it's important to note too, that target budget sheet, what's beautiful about it is, yeah, you can type your sales targets in and it'll build that whole budget for you. And then there's a column for you to override with your own percentage. So if you think you're going to spend 10% on marketing, you literally type in 10% and the whole budget updates. Or well, you can you can say, I'm going to spend $2,000 a month. And then every single row, every single column of every single month will update with 2000 bucks a month. So it's super customizable. So you can take the targets and then start manipulating them from there for every single line item in the budget. It's beauty. What type, what type of budget, what type of marketing are you talking about? Like buying stickers and, and, and all of it, all of it, Google ads, Facebook ads, paying somebody to run your ads, yard signs, stickers, whatever, radio ads, anything that you're doing that's client acquisition related goes into marketing all together. And the the total is 5% all in there. Corey, what do you got? I was just going to say, you should give yourself a a host point because that was a hell of an efficient and productive plug. Very, very Beauty. well done. Beauty. Very well. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. That's if good. I was going to sell that oh, sheet, it, I'd sell it for a thousand bucks. I mean, I'd, I built it. I mean, I built it over the last 10 years, right? Of doing right. bookkeeping for all these different companies. It literally like, it's a budget sheet and it goes. One thing I hate about most budget sheets is you like go get somebody's budget sheet and it's a one year budget, which I, I had the same thing. But a budget is like you use last year to build next year, which builds the next year. Like a budget sheet should be, should be into perpetuity. This one, if you go get it, it goes for three years and then you can add a fourth year, add a fifth year. So you don't need to go get a new budget sheet every year. You get this one and you keep adding data to it, which makes you better at budgeting the next year. So every year you can change your inputs. Dan, I want to buy it from you for $1,000 and I don't even own a small business. So well done. Well, Dana, your your wife is an accountant and she probably would love it. She'd be like, oh, sweet. I'm going to build, I'm going to run our family budget in this thing. Yeah. Just see what things You should get her one for Christmas. Be like Dana, <laughs> I, got, I got you this budget sheet for Christmas. Dan said you'd love it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it now. There is, and and if you are not in one of the target industries out there, there's also just a generic template that anybody can get and manipulate. It doesn't have to be specific to one of our home service industries. So you can go get it for your wife and give it to her for uh, Christmas. She's gonna love it. She's gonna love that budget sheet. All right. Enough about my silly target budget sheets, but seriously, go get them. They're freaking badass. Hey, what's up, business nerd? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you learned a heck of a lot watching that episode. Do me a favor, subscribe right down here. And if you really like what you saw, you got more goods right here. Check out this one or check out this one and do this. Go subscribe. Appreciate you. Work smarter, work harder. Go earn yourself some pride. Catch you on the next one.